Welcome to uh, Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Cancer for the month of March or from whenever you view this uh, this video. Um, it is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. But if you still don't find them there, then check back in the following week when I put out new messages for your sign. So let's just get to this um, reading. I feel like this is somebody who just kind of waltzed into your life at a time when uh, you may have been feeling more vulnerable. You may have been feeling low, uh, like, um, like you didn't really have a social life, you know? And then this person, they waltz in singing a really merry tune and very charming. This is the Pied Piper. And you fall under their spell. It's almost like it. it's a feeling like too good to be true. And so, and your intuition is telling you that, you know, if it's too good to be true, it probably is, you know, and maybe you, there's a danger of you not listening to the intuition. Okay, this card's telling you that you need to. But there is that danger of you not to because we do have Neptune down, uh, not listening because Neptune is here. And Neptune is uh, 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 seeing something too late, you know. And so you need to be careful and uh, don't let your mind talk you out of what your gut is telling you. Here we have you at the root of this problem. This is the problem. Is this person genuine? Or, you know, is this like just too good to be true? You're at a crossroads when it comes to that. Okay. Um, and I feel like when it comes to uh determining the truth or getting to the truth because we do have the uh sagittarius up here it's like you don't gain any ground so it's like you don't really don't know this person really uh, is able to weave their magic and they're very good at it look they got all these people all these people following them out of town they have to be good right so, <clears throat> but your gut, your gut is telling you, you know, okay, something feels off here. You better take a deeper look. Um, and, and, and it could just be that it could be something like this. See Vanity Fair? It's like maybe in a moment or there were more than mo one moments where it's like they were with you but they weren't, you know, it felt like they weren't. It felt like, oh, maybe you caught them looking elsewhere, you know, because this is what that is, you see. They're together, but she's looking at someone else here. And this could cause you a lot of concern with the card of captivity. And just that little action or that, you know, you caught their gaze looking at someone else. That was enough to, for the intuition here to kick in and say, oh, something's not right. This is paying attention to the signs and um, it's causing you a lot of anxiety with that card of captivity there. And the more you think about it, it's like the greater the stress or the pressure becomes here. So this is, this person most likely is somebody right now who is in your life um, because he's sitting here in the past and he comes in like that knight in shining armor. He comes in as the Pied Piper knows what to say, um, plays a very merry tune, um, but it's all illusion. The devil is here. And... Um, So they come in, here we have communication, 
and the chariot. So they want to move. They may have told you they want to move. Uh, you know, they want to move forward with you. They painted a really good picture. Yep. You have fears that are it's like there's a decision to move forward with this person or not that's hanging in the air but you've got fears surrounding it fears that um, maybe overwhelm you especially when you're not with that person when they're because when they're right next to you when they're with you they have an overpowering effect but when when it's like you're you're not together, um, it's it's like you're able to see a little clearer, and then all the worry is going to set in. And there's, it's like you're waiting on the results. The devil's here again. So these are all, um, and I'm going to say that these are all because this person is a trickster, you know. because of the the main card which is the central issue and the central issue is the pied piper somebody who's deceiving you and you have a card of deception right above and this is what you're worrying about and your intuition is telling you okay but you're not you it could be a a, a war between you know uh what you're feeling and and the mind Yeah, so it's like um, you're going to wait on the results perhaps to see uh, if this person, uh, if this person is uh, genuine or are they hiding something from you or are they hiding many things from you? Is this really your sword? Uh, to pull because they're making it appear as though you guys really have a good connection but with the devil it's an appearance um, he is the seducer in fact that's the name of, that's the name of this card in this deck the seducer you know so um, would you put would you be putting effort for nothing if you continue if you take the offer they're offering you to move forward and for some of you this is an offer to move they want you to literally pick up and move towards them and this could involve changing cities I mean this could be a huge decision changing countries only to find out you were hoodwinked you need to think about this because this is a card of being hoodwinked. Should you trust this person? Um, you're carrying a heavy burden when it comes to those thoughts. Um, the hanged man. You're seeking information, waiting for a sign or looking at the signs. Uh, what would be the cost this is um it can be that you need to be cautious about uh, over trusting this person because this can be uh head up in the clouds energy it's a card of of mistrust when it's upright when it is reversed it is a card of head up in the clouds okay not looking where you're going so be careful and maybe and being unable to see is a burden for you possibly you are in um it's like you're trying to prepare yourself possibly because we do have a card of training here to have a conversation or <clears throat> excuse me preparing for what could possibly uh, what would come um, like because you're in the hangman mode so looking for signs waiting 
um, what would be the cost maybe you're preparing for that you know what would be the cost if I uh, accept this offer and let's say I move you know uh, to another country overseas whatever and then get there and find out you know I'm, I've been hoodwinked so this is a decision here that you're really thinking heavily about um, and you know you're in the nine of swords energy you're just so confused um, you do desire this person uh, you do feel a connection to this person but keep in mind that <clears throat> what they were showing you wasn't real you need to keep that in mind you have the devil the seducer you have um, you have the trickster this would be you have this card of prevention here and he's trying to tug that sword out of the rock but he can't because it doesn't belong to him it's not his sword to pull and this is um, uh, Saturn ruling so we have a, um, a major life lesson here ultimately here you need to trust in your intuition you have the moon in reverse here trust your intuition and follow your instincts because they are going to guide you to the right action you don't know what to do okay don't listen to the mind follow the gut here don't listen to there's too much chatter going on in your head that you cannot think clearly it's too emotional for you and I think that I think that at at some level I think that you know what the right thing is to do but it's that possibility of it what if it's true it, because it goes goes back to you know that is it too good to be true I mean you know what if it is true what if it is true what if it isn't and so you're 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 struggling with this trapped in your fears Yeah, wishing that it is true, wishing that this can, for this connection, for this uh, new beginning, but it's just that gut. If it wasn't for that feeling you had, if it wasn't for that feeling, you know, there's something here. Okay, look at look at the priest. there's something here and um, that maybe you know you're feeling or you don't want to see you see that person's kind of pushing that <laughs> the priest back like away away yeah having to do with that knight of cups and a new beginning or an offer for one you know feeling like it, it's a soulmate if you took the offer it would take a turn for the worse you have the wheel of fortune in the reverse on it listen to your intuition and listen to your gut and it is going to guide you that's the biggest uh, piece of advice I can give you here uh, also you know if it's too good to be true it most likely is. I thank you for watching. 
for liking and for sharing my videos and for subscribing. Also, um, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings.